Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be making a little bench riser for our dog bowl in our bedroom upstairs. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so I think we've decided that it is going to be about two feet wide. Two feet long? Long, long. yeah. Long? Both. <laughs> Whichever one. And you're just the width of this board, which I think is. Nine I think inches. it's a one by 10 or something. Um, we're gonna cut some feet for that as well. I think we'll kind of play that by ear and Still yeah. Still figuring it out. Yeah, <laughs> we're winging it. <laughs> we need some clamps. Time to get sawing. Don't forget your hearing protection. My hearing protection. Okay, so we haven't really figured out the feet yet. So what do you want to do? Um, I think if we cut it at the height that we want and run it down this table saw and cut the two by four and a half, then we can drill a pocket hole up into the bottom and it'll keep it tight and glue it also. Okay, so we're gonna do thin legs. We're gonna use yeah. two by four, but thinner. Yeah. So are we using the table saw for the first time? We're gonna use the table saw for the first time. All right. <laughs> All right, we got everything cut. Now it is time to plane and then we are on to assembly. Right, before we get started with planing, why don't you tell us a little bit about our, uh, our dust collection set up here? Our high tech, because we're a huge shop. We don't have a giant dust collector. We got a shop back that we just plug in and turn on when we turn the planer on because the planer is messy. A lot, a lot of sawdust comes out when we're playing. <sighs> So after a little bit of back and forth, I think that we have decided that we're angling the feet. So Brad is just measuring an angle and then we will be routing, routering? Routing, I think. I'll go with routing. We'll be doing something that will be rounding the edges. We will be using a router. <laughs> We have broken out the router that we have not used that many times um, and we are going to round the edges of both the feet and the top of our little shelf stand thing but because I don't have much experience with this I'm gonna be going through the router bits that we do have and practicing on some scrap wood that we have from past projects <laughs> So this is what running the router along it did. I like the rounded look on this side. I'm gonna try and get rid of the lip on this side. But other than that, I think we are ready to try it on the real thing. Mm -hmm. 
hubby here got the garage cleaned up a little bit. Thank you for doing that. No problem. So now that we are done with all the cutting and sanding and routing, we are getting ready to attach the feet to the top. We decided on that bit of an angle and we are going to use our um, pocket hole jig here from Craig and uh, get these glued and screwed. So we marked out where we're going to put each foot and now I just want to figure out where we want to have our uh, pocket hole. So I'm thinking on the inside we want to have it kind of in the center there. And I just want to mark out on each one which one where the pocket hole is going to go for each foot. Oh, the legs are on. Let's give her a flip over. All right, that's not bad. That should be pretty good for him. All right, well, I'm going to let the glue dry and then we are going to stain and we should be done. We're upstairs. Hey. Well, I made an oopsie and I unglued one of the legs here. It's still screwed on, just not quite as sturdy as the other legs. So I'm going to re-glue that and then let it dry again. Hopefully that's enough weight to keep it together. If not, well, at least it's just a bowl of water going on top of it. <laughs> 